Welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? <laughs> All right. Today is a special day. All right. But first, we got a 2003 Honda Pilot. A customer's complaint is when they got the the AC on because you know because it's hot out here, and I'm going to assuming that even when the, when the just the fan is running, they hear a lot of water sloshing around in the dashboard. So we're going to check that out and see what's going on. But first, <clears throat> today is the first day of Click to Win. That's right, that's our new game we're uh, putting out here on YouTube. We're the only one that's gonna be doing that. So, without further ado, here's our host of the game, Timmy Barnes, to let you know how it is. Take it away. That's right, Tim. We got a beautiful Fabergé egg here. And wait a minute, you know, I love that music. <laughs> Can you dig it? <laughs> All right, check it out. Today's lucky winner will receive a beautiful Fabergé egg. Now, we went all online to try to find this egg, and we could not. Um, I mean, the detail of this thing is just fabulous. Look at that. And what's special about this is that once you open it up, that's right, it opens up. Once you open it up, I cannot place that song, but I heard that song someplace. Now, as you can see on the inside, you can set your trinket in there, or watch, or the perfect as a gift holder uh, for that special person. Again. We have not seen this egg anywhere online. Now, about the rules of Click to Win. Somewhere during this video, where Tim's gonna repair video, there's gonna be the words Astral show up. The first person to click that word Astral will be taken to our website where they be get, given a message of whether they won or not. The first person will win, of course. Then you just fill out your name, address, and that's it. That prize is yours. Free shipping, no, nothing, no charge it to you whatsoever. So, here we go. This is our first game of Click to Win. Good luck to everybody. Tim, it's all yours. Take it away. <laughs> whoa, whoa. A Fabergé egg? Musical, but yo, that looked it nice. Some some lucky winner out there is gonna get that. Tell me, I appreciate that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's uh let's get inside this vehicle and um see if we can verify the customer's complaint. If we hear any water going around, and also the customer stated that um the, the fan will not shut off. The blow motor will not shut off. It stays on constantly. So um that's weird. All right, let's get the keys and let's go check this out. All right, we got the keys here. Let's go over here and uh, pretty clean for a 2003, really clean. All right, let's start this car up and see what we got. Let me close the door. No, I didn't even move the car around. I don't hear no water sloshing around, but uh, you know, as far as the, as far as the, they saying the motor, the blow motor is constantly running. Um, one thing you got to understand about these systems that okay right now this is set to auto That blow motor is going to constantly run um, Unlike uh, Your home AC unit or even your window unit your window unit if you set it to cool the fans going to constantly run It's just that the compressor is going to cycle off and on when needed if you put it to energy saver the fan will cut off so you know a vehicle is not going to do that. A vehicle is completely different. You got to actually hit the off button, and uh, 
it's off so I'm not worrying about that now about this water sloshing around let's go out here for a minute and just to check something here you know a lot of times I, I've um, uh, you take it someplace and they'll tell you well you got a leak in a, a window or something like that but what we're gonna do here is there's a drain like when when you have your AC on it builds up condensation inside that air duct that duct system in your car and they have a tube to drain that out which is right down there where my light is and there's a tube right there so what I'm gonna do is reach down there and pull that off and I'm gonna see if uh, it, it, cause a lot of times they do get clogged all right let's let me reach down there and see if I can pull that off you know hey dang it man that ain't gonna be too hard easy to do there we go wow nothing came out of there and it, it should have actually I mean let's get our light in here Huh. You know what I'm gonna have to do here is put something in there and see if uh something stuck in there. Let's get a small screwdriver or something going in. Alright, let's check that out. Okay, what I got here is a, a short screwdriver. Not too bad. And what I wanna do is go down there. I wanna put that screwdriver in there to see if uh we get any water. Oh yeah, we did. Look at that, yeah. Now the problem here is, I'm not sure if that, let's get a longer screwdriver. Let's see if I can fit the longer screwdriver in there. It's definitely, it's definitely built up in there. So we're gonna have to do this another way. Uh, let's see here. Let's hook up on this, look us, let's get us a hose and some, an airline. All right, we'll be right back. All right, this is what we're gonna do here. Now, I pulled this hose, this is the drain hose from under there. I got some stains in it. And what I'm gonna do is take this piece of hose right here it's one and a quarter inch I'm gonna put it right inside there like that and just so it don't blow off I'm gonna tape it up you don't have to put a lot of tape on it because ain't not a lot of pressure be going through there now what we're gonna do here Is where's our drain down here? And what we're gonna do is hook this up, to, hook this up to the drain. We're gonna get us an air hose. Yeah, every time I'm touching that, more water come out. All right, let's get us an air hose and blow a little air in there. We'll be right back. Okay, we hooked up, hooked up our line here. Got our hose out here. And what I did was um. <coughs> I'm not even going to start to compress up because you don't want a lot of pressure coming out here. Now, I could hook up the airline to our regulator over here and regulate the pressure, but we're way down here, so actually it's only 40, so I still got to be careful because you don't want to blow too much pressure in there. Not that it'll probably damage anything. It's just uh, you don't want to take no chances. All right, here we go. Now, actually, you know, if you don't have an airline, you can actually, you know, blow through it using using your mouth because it's not a lot of pressure coming in at all. What I'm gonna do is just hit it with air, just a little bit. I'm not gonna force it down all the way. I'm not gonna do that. Go about halfway. All right. So here we go. Let's try this out. All 
right. I blew it back. And I did hear water coming out of there. So what I'm going to do here is go back down here. And I'm going to pull off our tube right here. This. Dang it, man. That's, that brown water came out of there. Yeah, water coming in the holes. So I'm hoping that uh that we got that out. Let's try a little screwdriver thing again. And make sure. See that's still got water dripping down here. All right, you know what? Let's go up, look up under the dashboard to see what way we can even look at this even better. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, here we go right here. Here's where the here's where it drains at. I can't really get to it, but what if I? It feels kind of cool too. You know what? What if I take out the uh, cabin air filter? Okay, first what we're gonna do is drop this glove box. Hold on one second here. Gotta like pull those tabs out on both sides. And be careful, you got any stuff inside here, watch out because... <laughs> See that? Pull that out. That's how they come out. Okay. Pull it out, pull it down. Okay. Got both of them out. The glove box is going to drop. But as I say, you know, if you got any stuff inside there, take it out now because you want to lose it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close it back up. I'm going to get something to hold that glove box up so I don't have to disturb none of the customer's things. Let's get a, let's get a block of wood. Let's see if this block of wood will do. Oh yeah, I got that blocker was sitting right there. Everything stayed in. Now, this little compartment right here, this is where our, let's get up under here and try to pull this out. This is where our cabin air filter sits at. Let me go get a screwdriver. Right back. Okay. We got a little light here so we can see. And that's a little tab up there. So let's get our flat screwdriver. Pop that off. And then we got one at the bottom. And we got a brace here. You see this brace? And you can you can just push those out just to look just enough to get that. Remember to push that back. We're gonna pull it out just enough so we can drop that. Yeah, there we go. And we're still gonna have to do it to get this filter out of here. Okay, so let's get us a Phillips screwdriver. One bolt over there and one bolt over there. Let's see if this thing will come out. And no, it's not gonna come out because I see a bunch of screws holding that in. Okay. We're going to do that anyway. Let's get that done. Right back. All right, we're back. You know what? I'm going to do a little project here. Let's uh, close this glove box back up. Because what we're going to do here is we got two screws going opposite ways. Let me set this back up. One right here and one right there. So what we're going to do is close the glove box back up 
get you an 8 millimeter or 5 16 quarter inch drive socket with the quarter inch drive ratchet and the bolt is going to be right about here going opposite way Take out that one and going over here to the other side of the dash and they're gonna take out another one that's located right here but to get this one what we're gonna do here is take off this cover and you see a little see this thing before tab back here kind of dark but just unscrew that with your hand you can see get back here a little bit better huh. Get a little light back here. There it is, that right there. All right, just I'm gonna screw this up with my hand. Get that off of there. Great. Okay, let's pop this. Let's pop this out of here. Let's just set that to the side with that little clip. Remember that. So that's going to make it easier to get to the other bolt, which is right in this location right here. All right. Let's see if we can get to that. Yeah, we can. Yes, we can. Get this little harness out of the way a little bit. Now remember, have that glove box closed so when you're taking these bolts out, it don't drop on you. Huh. Alright, so let's get both of those bolts out and join me when you're done. Okay, we got both our bolts back out. And you see how the glove box is leaning like this. So what we're going to do here is hold it closed and we're going to unlatch it. Keep everything intact. Let's take this out and set it to the side. Well, what I'm going to do is to keep it, put it down on the driver's seat. All right, now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Next. Let's take off, we got two. Now we got the bolts down here. We wanna make sure they're the same size. I'm gonna pull, actually, what I'm gonna do is put that one on that side because I know that one goes over here and this one goes over here. And let's get these two um, Phillip bolts out, Phillip screws out right here. One on that side and one on that side, all right? Take that out and join me when you're done. All right, we got the screws out and I put them on the same side where they belong to. Now, let me show you what, um, what we're doing out here. Because as I take these parts out, except for the the glove box itself as I take parts out I keep them in line so you know because this is a, this used to be a rider truck so it has that thing to come out so I use it as a table that's cool um so as I take parts out I put them in line so when I go put it back together I just start from the end and uh here's the cover to the the uh, cabin air filter look at that so I know there's some stuff in there that's built up Okay, next we're gonna do is get your eight millimeter or five sixteenths. Or if you have a deep at this time, it'd be better to use a deep, but I'm gonna use a little two inch extension. We're gonna put them up there, because what we got is two bolts. Two uh, chrome bolts right, right there. One right there, more like brass. Brass, the taz. All right, let's get this thing in here. All right, now let's uh, get those two bolts out. We got one over there, and we got one over there. And as you can see, our bracket's starting to move already. All right, so let's get those two bolts out, and join me when you're done. Okay, we're on our last one over here. Bam, drop right out, look at that. 
drop it out and bust the bolt. Here we go. Little bolt, put it on this side. Now, now let's not be, you know, in a rush here. Because what I want you to do here is this, because it's a nice clean car. Let's put these, put these over here. And let's get us some cardboard or some paper or something and put up under here because of the stuff that's going to drop out of there. All right? Always try to be clean. Let's, let's, let's just back this, see if we can take this out just like that. Yeah, there we go. Let's go out here and put this up in our list on our on our line and uh, get something to put right there we'll be right back okay what I got here is a garbage bag nice and clean let's spread this thing out Let's pull our, see all, see all the stuff come out there? So that's why you do that. Pull our cabin air filter out. Yeah. It's not that bad, but it can be changed. And take notice of how it comes out. You see that we got a tab right here that's leaning more toward the right side. So we can make sure we put it back in there like that. Man, look at that stuff inside there. Let's get us a little light so we can see better. Wow. Bad part about this is our drain is on the other side. But definitely, we're going to get that out of there. So let's, uh, let's get this air, this uh, cabin air filter out of here and, uh, get this stuff out of here all right we'll be right back all right what I got here now I got my long nozzle air line and this again I'm gonna go in here make sure your plastic stays in place now I'm gonna put some screwdriver over here to keep this thing down and as you can see everything coming out of there Take a look inside there and see what we got. Yeah, you can see the water in the back on the back wall. This thing definitely wasn't draining right. Wow, alright. Let's uh continue. Wow man, I can blow through the condenser too. Oh, Now with this stuff in here, you definitely this definitely will stop this um, this thing from draining. All that stuff will come. Wow, man. Okay, we're gonna have to start our compressor to get some more air because we're running out of air here. Oh, okay, the leaves stop. Look at all this, look all this stuff down here. We got. It. Wow, man. Dang it. That's a lot. Alright, let's go let's get us some more air. We'll be right back. Alright, I got our air compressor going. And I noticed when I come out here, I came over here and looked at uh down there, to get a light. We still got we got water, still got water draining down out here. Know there's more water in there. All right, let's go shut our compressor off. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow through the other way also. So we're right back. All right, we're gonna get get our hose that we had hooked up back there before earlier. I'm gonna go down here and hook this back up. Okay. 
get our air right here. Listen, we gotta blow this carefully because we got that cover off in there. Okay, now let's go over here, go down here, and pull that line off. Now let's go back to our. Let's go back inside over here. Well, we got a lot of stuff coming out of here, man. All right, now let's hook back up our other air chuck. A blow tool and you got a lot of condensation built up over here. I mean dirt built up over there and all. I'm gonna blow through all that and clean out it again. Let's do that. No matter how much I blow it, a little more. This is fun. <laughs> now you see all this you want to get out of there because with, man this all these leaves don't get down there it'll clog that drain right up. Let's get our light and take a look in there. Okay, let's look inside here. You can see how the how it was wet in there. That water did build up in there. We're good to go with this. Okay. Let's uh go out here. Check our drain at the bottom. Okay, I still see a little drops water in there. That's good though, because that means it's draining now. Unlike before. It's definitely got a drain to it now. Alright. Let's get all this stuff and put this stuff back together. The first thing we're going to do here, <coughs> we're going to, all this, look at all the stuff that came out of there. All that stuff clogging up that stuff, that drain, man. Alright. Let's get this um, plastic out of here and clean this up before we start putting this stuff back together. We don't make this dirty, okay? All right, let's clean this up. We'll be right back. Right, the first thing we're going to do is let's put back this cabin air filter. But I, I, oh, check this out. I want you to notice something here. Look up under this vehicle. Look at that. Look at that water. Came out of there since we've been draining it out. All right, now we're going to look at this filter over here. And you can see... Supposed to be able to hold it up to the light. It ain't it ain't that bad, but there is some some dirt too. We're just gonna blow that out with the air line because it ain't it ain't all that bad. So we're gonna take the air and blow that out. Let, let's do that. All right, we took our air and blew through it. Look at that. Right, yeah, it looks a little dirty, but you know a little bit. But you can see you definitely see light through that. I'm gonna blow it a little bit more over there. I can see some leaf a leaf up there on the top. I'm gonna definitely blow this out. Okay, let's put this back together. Uh, remember this tab. I remember it was on the right side. So I'm gonna stick this into here. There we go. Looks like I want to make sure. There we go, right there. 
And I notice it's more towards the left. Let me can, can I put it more toward the right if I had to? Just want to be sure that there ain't no two ways of putting this in. No, it's not. So it's gonna go to the left of the whole box. Just like that. And that's in there. Alright, next, let's get our cover and snap that on. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, now on this thing there's a word Honda. Make sure that goes to the top. And what we're gonna do is underneath here there's a little clip on that fits right up right up on there. Make sure both places snap into place. Done. And also just in case you want like I said, the word Honda is facing towards the top. Then there's a little spot right here on it. The only spot on it, make sure that's at the bottom. Alright, let's get that our brace that goes across there. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, we got our brace right here. Now on the other side of this brace, there's two little little tabs that stick out. You gotta make sure they line up in there. This one up there, and you're gonna feel like go right into place. I just felt that one go into place, and this one not yet. Okay, got it. Nope, nope, nope. There it is. All right, now let's get our two little short uh, screws, the gold ones, and we're gonna put them right there to the top and start them. Okay, let's do that. Number right back. Okay, we got our two gold screws in there. We'll go ahead, tighten them up. Of course, not by hand. You could be using a ratchet, of course, you know. But of course. Ah, ah. All right, next, when I we got the uh, Phillips screws, they're gonna go next. As you can see, they go right down into there. Then the other one, get that lined up, and that's gonna go right down into there. Okay, get your okay. Let's tighten those up with the ratchet and get our screwdriver and tighten those up. beans <laughs> all right uh, let's go next is the the glove box now we're gonna get the glove box on and we're gonna put the glove box up there and then we're gonna take yeah yeah yeah. let me show you instead all right let's go get the glove box oh wait a minute we got everything else out there yeah yeah we got the glove box right over here all right let's get that and set up all right we'll be right back all right let's get our glove box into place now you got tabs on the bottom of this box. Make sure they make sure they're facing downward. Alright? Let's get that on. Alright, our battery's going dead here. I got one bolt tightened up. Now I'm gonna get that other one tightened up. And we're gonna have to end this video. Alright? Be right back. Okay, real quick, on these right here, these things that the lock the top is push the glove box up, push them in there, and they're gonna go into like a little groove. And then you're gonna slide it forward. Oh, that one's locked in already. All right, because usually they'd be pushed back. Slide them forward, and then they lock in the place. Got both of them done. I'm trying to hurry up before this battery goes dead. But the main part is done. That's good. Make sure it opens and closes. All right, let's go out here. Oh yeah, and we gotta snap this piece back into place. Okay, real quick, to get this piece on, pick this piece up a little bit. And this is going to go into there, and there's little tabs. You see that little piece right there? And there's one at the top. So you want to put those in there. Make sure it's around from this harness. There, there we go. 
and that's going that piece is it will go on right in the police. This battery's going dead again, man. I need some new batteries. All right. And remember that piece back there. That's going to line up. All right. Let's get that on and we'll be right back. All right. Battery's going low, so I'm going to make this quick. First of all, congratulations to the winner of Click the Win. Uh, I guess we'll find out today. Um, yeah, 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 this game is bad. All right, that's how you pretty much, hey, this video also tells you how to change the cabin air filter. And if you hear water inside the, the air duct system, that's how to change it. Check it out. Blow all them leaves out of there. Get that stuff draining. All right, this is Timmy from Astral Water Repairs. If we can't repair it, as you can see, <laughs> nobody can. Y'all take it easy.